if you're on Hot Potters and welcome once again as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today still in Dunkirk with Mrs H Hello. and little Toby James who's just over there making his own little Hot Pot video isn't he Mrs He's H? He's deleting everything off your phone. <laughs> probably, probably, it won't do any damage anyway. So Mrs H, how are you finding Dunkirk? It's it's all right. It's, it's not changed all that much. There's just no, a little bit less so. of England here now, I think. Yeah, yeah, we have noticed that, haven't we? But it's still plenty UK cars, as they are now. They're not GB anymore now. You have to have a UK one on, don't you, for you some do, reason? Yeah. Maybe Boris just decided that's what was going to have moving forward. But uh, I want to quash a little rumour because we are in Dunkirk, Hot Potters, but uh, Mick Byrne, you think we're in uh, Amberswood Park back in Higher Ince in Wigan. That's not the case. I know these trees look English, but uh, that's not the case. Is it, Mrs. Hirsch? No, because... it's not because we're 25 minutes away from England. <laughs> exactly. Because we've got French roller cola. The prices have shot up, haven't they, Mrs. Hirsch? Yeah. And uh, although we got it from Lidl, it is a French little bag. So I don't carry that many props with me, mate. You know. And I, I will I will get a photograph of myself outside the uh, sand to the place afterwards for you, just, uh, just to prove that we are here. But um, yeah, we are enjoying it, aren't we, Mrs H? Yeah, it's lovely. It's just really, really warm. But I think it's hot everywhere, isn't it? It is. That lake, though, that's just outside our hotel is lovely, isn't it? It is. It's a nice little place to come just for a little barbecue. Which is what we're having now. Yeah. We're having some pork steaklets and uh, a little bit of beef and things like that. But it's very difficult finding anything now, isn't it? It is. And we were driving around for a good hour. We were looking for a Lidl this morning. Yeah, the lesser spotted Lidl. I don't know what's happened there in France. There was loads last time we was here. Well, we, we put the sat-nav on this morning and we found three. We went to the first two housing estates. Yeah, they're now housing blocks, turning Lidl's into houses. That, uh, yeah. That's a bit of a strange one, but... And that final one we found, the prices weren't cheap. No, no, I think everything's gone up, though. I mean, we went to our favourite little place last night, didn't we, in Belgium? Yeah. Uh, Murder Lambics. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but we always call it that. And it, normally it was like about 20 euros, wasn't it, for the uh, a big steak? Yeah. T-bone steak and fries and that, and it shot up to 27 and that, I think. I think I didn't get any change out of 100 euros, did I, by the time we'd done paying for a Toby and that. It was the drinks, though. I mean, we had, it, it weren't even a shot glass, really, were it, of no. Coke, and it was... Like three euros fifty something like that. Two, two euros two fifty for Pepsi Max. Yeah, it was a shot glass. Of yeah, Pepsi and you, Max. you was carping about a bottle being two fifty like that, yeah. wasn't you? But, uh, oh, that was. Uh, we have found a cheaper place though, haven't we? We have, yeah. Uh, Super Manch, I think, or Manch or something, I think it's called. Yeah. In Dunkirk itself, so a bit more just, like our Tesco's, though, I think that, isn't it? We've just got ourselves sorted, and then it's time to move on, isn't it? Mm -hmm, got another. <laughs> Tonight and tomorrow night and then we're off. Yep, off to Disneyland Paris. Yes. You're getting your Disney fix, aren't you? Well, that was the reason we was coming. Well, they won't let me in America, you see, Hot Potters, because I've I've not had the jab, so... Unless you, it's either yeah, you're near over in America, isn't it? Either it you've is. had it or you've not, and uh, we got done here, really, haven't we? Yeah, we had. Because, as some of you probably know, you still had to do a test prior to uh, the beginning of this month. So we went and got ourselves sorted as good citizens and then uh, the next thing, you don't need to do it now. We got lumbered with an 11, do 11 pound uh, test, haven't I? Yeah, that they're selling their own bargain, so is it one forty nine? Yeah. Well, Macron did say he wanted to piss off the people who haven't been vaccinated, so he has done. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're really enjoying it and uh, hopefully this weather will stay like this, but I don't, I don't want it too hot in Disney, do you? No, I think it's meant to rain the four days that we're in Disney. <laughs> Which won't be a bad thing, because there'll be less people there, and it'll be a bit cooler, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. But going back to noticing things that have changed, um, the only thing I've noticed that's changed, really, is you get a stamp in your passport now as you do the crossing. Yeah. So if you like stamps, if you like collecting things in your passport, you're okay now. Because I think you, they would have allowed you it last time, wouldn't they? If you asked for it, but they didn't really like doing it. No. No, they wouldn't do it. I don't think we've ever had one. No, but we've never asked him for us. No, there's a wasp. Yeah, there's, there's always wasps here. That's one of the uh, downsides of it, isn't it? The carnivorous now this time of year, aren't yeah. So uh, hopefully they'll not go for us. But yeah, we're just going to enjoy this now, and then uh, I think we'll go. We're we going go to the beach. Well, yeah, I thought we were going to go and have a look at those bunkers that you were. Well, oh, the bunkers that I couldn't find yesterday, hot potters. Yeah, uh, I made a big show about we was going to go to Belgium and take a look at these bunkers from this secret area and. Uh, 
The bunkers that I was looking at, Hot Potters, are actually in France because you're very close to the Belgian border here, aren't you? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we will take a look at them because they're different bunkers to what I've documented before. But that secret area in Japan, I think they just demolished it and there's all um, there's all like seafront things up now, isn't there? Mm -hmm. For holidays is, and things. Yeah. Love the little area though. Japan's gorgeous. If you ever fancy a nice holiday that's over there, that's closer to home. It's a very Spanish resortish, isn't it? Yeah, it so is. Cool. It is, and uh, there, it's a little bit easier for working out language-wise, I think. Yeah. Because Belgian is slightly different to French, just a little bit, isn't it? It is. But I also think that in certainly in Japan, a lot of them speak English. Yeah, they do. Because they are so close to the French, you know, to Calais and things like that. They have a lot of languages, don't they? Because yeah. even the ice cream van person could speak English yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. That was best though when we went to Modo Lambix, to our uh, favourite, our favourite place, and uh, we sort of painstakingly, or rather you did, worked your way through the menu, and then he was Australian and he just hit us with normal English. Didn't he? <laughs> he was actually glad to see somebody English. Yeah, he were at the time, but uh, he's not there anymore. Don't think so. Everything changes. Everything changes. But uh, we will get round to doing a few more videos for you. Hopefully, hopefully this weather will allow us to do it. But uh, for now, we're going to tuck into this, aren't we, Mrs. H? We are, before these wasps start eating it all. So, until the next time, from myself, Mrs. H and little Toby James, it is au revoir.